Hi, this is Chemistry Apostle. I welcome you back to the second part of Leaders Titration. In this video today, I'll be teaching us some likely questions and their solutions on Leaders Titration. So if you want to have an excellent grade in Chemistry work Practical, ensure you watch this video till the end. A is a solution containing 15.8 gram per dm cube of sodium thiosulfate. B was obtained by dissolving 9.0 gram of an impure sample of iodine in the portion of B. And that means that our A will be filled into the burette and we are going to pipette our B and our B is our iodine and our A is sodium to sulfate you can see the rest of the question on the screen there and then equation for the reaction at the end of this uh, titration at the end of these calculations I'm going to show us the title values that we obtain from this titration from your results calculate concentration of a in mole per dm cube concentration of b in mole per dm cube percentage by mass of iodine in the sample they give reason why the search indicator was not added to the titration mixture at the beginning of the titration the molar mass, uh, the atomic masses of the element involved are given in the bracket. But take note: if you are to calculate concentration of A in mole per dm cube, which is our sodium to sulfate, there are two formulas that we can use. But this formula depends on the visibility of what we were given in the question. If you check very well, to calculate the concentration of sodium thiosulfate in the question we were given the mass conch already how do i know it is given in gram per dm cube and that is the mass conch then we can easily determine the molar mass of sodium thiosulfate by adding the atomic ma the, atom the atomic masses of the formula together according to the way the formula is being written we have two atoms of sodium in that sodium to sulfate, we have two atoms of sulfur and three atoms of oxygen. Two atoms of, so, uh, of sodium multiplied by the atomic mass, that of sulfur multiplied by, by two. Sodium is two there, so the atomic mass of sodium is 23 multiplied by two. And then sulfur is also 32 multiplied by two. And oxygen is 16 multiplied by three. So when we add everything together, the molar mass of sodium to sulfate is equal to 158 gram per mole. Please take note, you have to calculate this molar mass for you to get answer, for you to get mark. You have to show the calculations of the molar mass of sodium to sulfate. And when you show when you are calculating the molar mass, ensures that you put the right unit. If you have forgotten the unit, it is better for you not to put unit than to put wrong unit. So if you calculate it correctly, you are going to earn yourself one man. But it will not score if you put wrong unit. Like I, like I have said earlier, when you are calculating concentration in more per dm cube. Is that you use the formula molarity is equal to mass conch over molar mass or you use savannah c a v a over c b f b is equal to n a over n b but in this case we already know our mass conch and we can also get our molar mass so because of this we are using molarity of a that is concentration of a a mole per dm cube is equal to molar mass conch of A over molar mass of A. So by the time you substitute the value correctly, you earn yourself one mark and then correct answer 
we also want you another one man. And note, when you are calculating concentration in MOPA DMQ, it must be in three significant figures for you to get a uh, one mark for that calculation. Question number two. Conk of B in MOPA DMQ. In the first question, we, we used molarity is equal to mass conk over molar mass. But this second one, we are not going to use mol uh, molarity is equal to mass conk over molar mass. Why? The uh, in the first question, we use molarity is equal to mass conk over molar mass. But this second question, we are not going to use mass conk over molar mass because the mass conk of iodine that was given was for an impure iodine. And anytime you are calculating, you have to use the mass conk of pure. So because of that, we cannot use molarity is equal to mass conk over molar mass because it will be too unknown. We do not know molarity. And mass conk of pure iodine was not given. So in that case, we are going to use the second formula, which is a savannah. CA, VA over CB, VB is equal to NA over NB. Our CA and CB are, are, is the concentration of sodium to sulfate and the volume of sodium sulfate, which is our, the table of value we prepared. Why our CB and VB is the concentration of iodine and the volume of the pipette which is equal to Na over Nb. Na, according to the equation, is to the mole ratio of acid to base. That is, the mole ratio of thiosulfate to iodine is 2 over 1. If you do correct substitutioning of those uh, parameters inside the formula correctly, you hand yourself one mark. And the more ratio, you must show the more ratio to you and yourself another one mark. So making two marks there. The next thing is that uh, you make CB the subject of the formula. And when you make CB the subject of the formula, you also hand yourself one mark. Note that you are calculating molarity, which is a more per gem cube. After your answer, it must be in three significant figure. Your final answer for that molarity must be in three significant figure and you must make sure you use correct unit. Then question number three, percentage purity of iodine. Percentage purity, the formula for calculating percentage purity is equal to mass of pure over mass of impure multiplied by 100. And recall from the beginning of this class that we were not given mass of pure iodine. And because we are not given mass of pure iodine, we are going to use the formula to calculate mass of pure iodine. Remember, when you are using formula to calculate any value, the value you obtain from the formula is a pure mass or is a pure value. So because of that, we are going back, we are going back to molarity now. Molarity of B, which is a more per diem, is equal to mass conk over molar mass. So by the time you make mass conk the subject of the formula in that uh, equation, the value we got today is the mass of pure iodine. So we can now substitute it into the formula. Also note that iodine is diatomic molecule. For you to get the molar mass of iodine, you need to multiply it by 2. Now in the question, we were given mass of impure iodine which is 9. So that will now be the mass we just got now divided by 9 multiplied by 100 and you must put percentage. Okay, we have calculated the percentage purity of iodine in the solution. Then the last question, why we do not add starch solution at the beginning of the reaction? The answer is 1. To avoid complex ion formation to avoid complex ion formation and secondly to obtain accurate results thanks for staying tuned